pasties. Wiggly cakes you can get. Oh my god, it's really strange. Question, would you go back to have this focaccia? Every day of my life. Bongo, bongo, cha cha cha. I guess that's not how you dance it. Hello, curious gang! It's your London friend Vasi that likes showing you around, traveling, and also talking about cultural differences. But today we'll go to the apparently five best bakeries in London and we'll see if they deserve the fame that they got or not. Grab your forks and let's go! Yes, I'm bringing a fork with me because you never know! And here we are at our first stop in Pimlico, which is called the Little Bread, Bread Pedlar. And I'm so ashamed because I learned about this place just a couple of weeks, weeks ago and I have been living in the neighborhood for years. This place is famous for its artisan, sourdough bread and also pastries, which did you know that they take up to 36 hours to make? That's crazy! And they're known for their croissants. I read an article that it's the best croissant in London, so we should definitely go and check it out. Let's go! Okay, let's go! Show me us what you got! Oh, I got some focaccia! Wow! I love it because it's really, really like greasy and like, you know, yummy. Let's try it! Oh. How would you rate it out of 10? 10 out of 10. And another question. Would you go back to have this focaccia? Every day of my life. And guys, uh, if you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more videos from London or travel related content, don't forget to subscribe. And for the ones of you that subscribed, here is a cute puppy as a reward. Here it is, guys. Look at all these layers. Wow. It's empty, uh -huh. but you can really feel the butter. Oh, really? Is mm -hmm. it too buttery though? Not too much. And look at the inside. Yeah, I can. I can see also with the focaccia. Mm. The like the crust is really crunchy, and the inside is really tender. Mm, look at that! Oh my god, it's really good. Definitely ten out of ten. And last time I had the pan au chocolat, which was also on another level. Mm -hmm. So. We're definitely coming back again. Okay. Right, so I'm going for a bite. Here we are, guys, at our second location, which is Gales. And if you live in the UK, have you already been to Gales? because they actually have more than 60 locations all around the country in like Brighton, Oxford and if you have been, let me know what is your favorite thing from Gales? We got something small which they suggested to us Look and I, I have never had it before Yeah, it's a bit, I don't know Let's try it together I think it's called um, like the French Madeleine. It's really good, but you see how big it is? And this one costed 130. So, what? yeah, we paid 260 for both of them. These two were as, as expensive as my focaccia almost. Yeah, exactly. And it's more expensive than the croissant. So, because of that, I would give it, I don't know, a 6.5 out of 10, just because. I would give a 7 because it's good. It's but good, it's but, it, but it's, yeah, it's just not worth it. But I think it's a nice dessert after everything that we had, so. And I forgot to tell you, would we go back to Gales? I would definitely go because it's still good, but for the money, not really worth it. And on the other hand, guys, we are in St. James Park and there's so many people working out and I'm just walking from one bakery to the other, so it feels a bit weird, I have to say. And guys, I would really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe and maybe comment down below so we can have a nice little conversation. And for our bakery number three, we are back here in Chinatown. 
and I will take you to Golden Gate cake shop maybe some of you will remember I showed it to you in our Chinatown video but today we are featuring it again because these buns need more attention and this Chinese bakery is very modest easygoing and they have some delicious things and they have both sweet and savory Chinese cuisine which I love so let's go and let's get something wait I think I have my fork in here yes we are ready to eat more guys if you're in Chinatown and you forget to take your cash as I usually do here is one of the few places where you can do that right here and it's actually in the main street so we got two things this is like some with dry pork and some veggies we got this one with coconut because many people suggested it online How does it taste? Oh my god, it's really strange. Why? I was not. It's salty, savory, and there's mayo. I don't know. Uh, it's something I'm not used to. But here is my coconut one. I'm actually a bit tired of eating sweets, but anyways, today is our day with bakery, so I guess I'm totally exaggerating with sugar. It's actually good and just for a comparison look how big is this thing it's huge and it has so much filling and all this costed just as the other small thing from Gale so price for quality I think this is great and as taste I would give it an 8 or a 9 it's actually really good I would rate it 9 in the beginning the first bite was kind of a 7 but it was just like it was something really different than like you know the big goods I usually eat so, but then I got used to it. I was like, mm, this is really interesting, you know, and then I would give it, you know, definitely a nine. Really good. And I would totally come back here. And this is also why I'm featuring this place another time in my videos. Mm. And here we are at our next stop, which is Kova Japanese Bakery, which offers organic cakes with a Japanese twist. And they also specialize in amazing Japanese teas. And they have, you know, all those wiggly cakes. You can get one of these over there. But I think today we'll try to get the matcha Mille crepe cake. Fingers crossed that it's there because sometimes it's finished. Here it is. Are you ready, guys, to see it? And I don't know if you realize it, but it's actually pretty small. Uh, it was six pounds twenty, and it was the last one. So I think if you actually go later, you might not find it. The packaging really, like you know. Look I... at that. Go. Oh, I think the packaging is really cool, and I love, love the contrasting colors of green and red. And it's made out of uh, pancakes. Much. Yes. Oh, pancakes. And... Yes. Really. Like I would give it nine, mm. just because of the price. Most probably I would go, but I wouldn't go there very often. This is like definitely like special occasion kind of place, you know. Like Guys, we made it. We are at our last stop. I already feel like I have eaten all the carbs and sugar for next week as well, but we won't tell this to anyone, right? It's going to be our little secret. And this bakery is called Miel Bakery. Did you know that in Italian? Miel means honey, but it's actually a French independent bakery and they make everything from scratch using only natural ingredients. But uh, to be honest with you, I don't have more time to waste because there is quite a big queue. And here is Ben. I've been doing for half an hour. No, you haven't. That Look makes at sense. it. Looks so good. Oh, that's the first pan of chocolate that's chocolate at the entrance. Not very chocolatey at the first bite. Oh. Mm. I don't want to say that, but? but the first bakery that we tried Shh. was better. <laughs> but then I would give it like a, a solid eight. Because it's good, but it's not as chocolatey and there isn't just as much filling as I would want it to have. But apart from that, it's quite delicious. 
If you want, go check out this video about Chinatown and I will see you in there. Love you all. Bye.